A spokesman for the Afghan Taliban has warned that they are no longer bound by a commitment not to attack international troops in the country. The undertaking was part of the Taliban's bilateral agreement with the United States signed last year. That deal also committed the U.S. to withdraw all foreign forces by today, the 1st of May. But the U.S. and its allies have just started the withdrawal process and expect to complete it by September the 11th, a delay which has angered the Taliban. The BBC's Sekunda Kamani has more. This is certainly uh, the beginning of the end, uh, as America sees it, of its longest ever war. But, you know, uh, as you said, this does not mean that it's going to be the end of the fighting in Afghanistan. Uh, talks between the Afghan government and the Taliban so far have gone nowhere, really. And, you know, the prospect of them reaching some kind of negotiated settlement by September, when all these uh, remaining troops are, are due to be pulled out, is, is very slim, and I think everyone recognizes that there's a, you know, a, 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 sl a slender hope that perhaps having this hard deadline will encourage the two sides to come together, but really many fear that perhaps uh, we could even see the, 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 the Afghan government side disintegrate into some kind of civil war scenario that Afghans have lived through before tragically. So real concerns about what this means. Also concerns at the moment as well, because, you know, according to the, the deal, uh, signed by the Trump administration and the Taliban last year. All foreign forces were meant to be withdrawn by today, by May the 1st. But President Biden pushed that deadline back to September. Now, it's only by a few months, uh, but the Taliban had previously suggested that they could uh, uh, start resume, resuming uh, attacking international troops, something they haven't done for the past year, if, if America didn't withdraw all its troops by May the 1st. In recent times, their, their language has been a bit more cautious. They say that they, they consider U, the U.S. to have violated the deal, but they say that uh, their, their leadership is deciding how exactly to respond. Uh, the United States, though, clearly taking the threat of, of, of uh, attacks on their troops as they're withdrawing seriously and has deployed extra military capabilities to the region to try and ensure their safety.